Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new Sunday video. I am Brian. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've been at a live premiere, and I really hope I'm at this live premiere. Uh, I am currently in Cortona, Italy. Uh, we left on Wednesday, and we're coming back next Thursday. So this video was recorded before we left. Um, I am going to be helping Mina at the Fluid Art Boutique and one of the classes that she's going to be teaching is a big canvas class. So today I'm going to be working on a 24 by 30. And I think what I'm doing on this one is going to be uh, three or four small cups. And I'm going to do straight pours and stretch it out. So let's get down on the canvas. We'll get started. I'll be right back. All right, what I've got is a big canvas, a 24 by 30 gallery wrapped. And like I said, since I am going to be helping Nina out at FAB and FAE, along with Kelly Stoll from Feral, Feral Art, what my colors are today. So what I'm gonna do for a 24 by 30, you're gonna need uh, 26 ounces of paint, I've got 12 ounce cups here. I am going to make three pours in a dirty cup pour, and I'm gonna pour them onto the canvas and tilt them out. Let's get started talking about these colors because they are just fantastic. Um, I am gonna do a base coat of white. So this is the titanium white from Amsterdam. There's no satin enamels in this. This is just titanium white, Floetrol, and a little bit of Liquitex Gloss Medium. All my paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium. I'm using the Bordeaux Red from Arteza. I'm using Pebio Studio Acrylic and the Iridescent Gold. I am using Pebio's Iridescent Red Blue, Pebio's Iridescent in the Blue Green, and I'm using Deco Art in the Sapphire. Wonderful colors. They're pretty thin because I, like I said, I'm going to do a dirty cup pour. And uh, my mixture that I basically used on this was two ounces of the gloss medium, two ounces of paint, and about eight ounces, or excuse me, about six ounces of Floetrol and a little bit of water just to thin them out. All right, so let's get started layering up a cup. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer each cup a little different order, but all of them are gonna start off with some white in the bottom. That way I've got some paint to pour into. We're gonna pour up high, start with the Bordeaux Red. I want that paint to sink right down in the bottom there. Go in with the gold. Red, blue. The deep sapphire. And this blue green. Yes, that's gonna be good. Some more white there. I'm gonna go backwards. This up high with the blue green. Up high with the sapphire. The red blue. Gold. red. Last cup, some white. Uh, I think I'm going to start off the board. Deep Sapphire. Deep 
greenish blue. the canvas with our titanium white. I also painted my sides and edges with the white just so I would have those covered so it wouldn't be necessarily some blank canvas showing through. We're going to torch this, get rid of these air bubbles. So with these dirty straight pours, you want to make sure you get all the paint out from the bottom of the cup because you pour it up high. So all your paints have definitely sunk below the bottom layer of white that I poured in. So I'm going to make sure I allow all that paints to come out. I'm going to start right here about dead center. These colors are going to start to sell up coming up through there. Number two. Okay, so now we're gonna wait. The cells are coming up, we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna to torch, we're gonna to let this sit for probably about five minutes. Uh, looking at it, I'm thinking I probably should have moved the red one to the center and put the blues on the outside, but that's okay. Uh, each one is gonna have all the colors. We're gonna stretch, there's extra paint in these cups. Uh, because I poured about 30 ounces of paint on here and I only need 26. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this develop. I'm going to let the cells uh, continue to pour, come up. 
I'll do some torching. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. All right, I'm gonna speed you guys up, but this is gonna be about a five minute wait before we start tilting. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna move this down this way first, I think. We're gonna just open these up a little bit.
right, I am gonna leave this right here. I love the composition now. I was thinking of really changing it up, adding some red over on this side, but I think there's enough red, and I like the contrast of it being different like that. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to leave the negative space. I'm loving this. I'm going to clean up the edges and then I'll bring you guys in. Alright, here we go. Check it out. Looks great. I'm loving the negative space. I actually like the red over on the far right, or on the far left, excuse me. Um, but you get to see the red in the other two pores as well. The cells are just popping up like crazy. Let me show you. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, here we go with the dried result. This really came out great. I'm kind of up and down on how I want to turn this. Do I want to have it this way or this way? It's really cool both directions. So either way, I'm loving it. I'm loving the colors. Let me bring you in here. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. This really came out fantastic. It is drying, so in fact, it's almost dry. It's a little bit tacky up here, but wow, what a piece. You really get to see this um, Bordeaux red on this side, the Bordeaux red over here, it is in through here. If I had to redo this differently, I would definitely have put the Bordeaux red pour in the middle and sandwiched it. But at the same time, I really, really love this composition and I don't mind that the Bordeaux red side is over there because you do get to see the Bordeaux red throughout the cells and the cells are just fantastic on this. So, so happy with it. So I really, really could not be any happier with how this turned out. I'm very, very excited about this piece. I love this color selection, so I'll definitely be playing with something else in this. Maybe an open cup pour would be cool with these colors. So, All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody have a great weekend. What's left of it anyways. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. And I will see you guys at the next video. And I'll have a lot of pictures to show you and videos. So have a great day. Bye-bye.